Hi everyone, it's Sigrid Soto uh, here at Secret Speeds and Things. This is my, um, oh, let me move the cord, sorry. I have a previous video, it's probably my first video that I actually uploaded on a tutorial on how to make the faux um, flowers. Let me show them to you. That I got the inspiration from Pinterest. There was no directions, and um, there was basically a wire, nail polish, and then I think it was some kind of, um, I think these are called mandrels, um, just basically a piece, a stick, and they didn't show directions, but I was inspired by it to create them, and a lot of YouTubers or, um, there's YouTube channels where they try to prove the um, certain things on Pinterest, um, trying to bust them like Mythbusters, and this what I'm have done back in I think it was back in maybe May. I'm not actually sure. Maybe August. I had already done it, and now there's a video out there. I think they are called Thread Bangers. Thread Bangers try to prove it a bust, and that this is this is. This was like about last week they tried to prove it a bust and um, they weren't too successful in doing it the way I've done it or I'm going to do it. But I've I've been able to do it just just the right way that I think that Pinterest put it up there so I don't consider it at all a bust. So it is doable. Um, so I'm going to give you guys more in-depth, more quicker details on how to do it because since it was my last my first video I kind of kind of stumbled over my words and it was a long video when in reality it's pretty easy and pretty quick to make it or make these flowers and um, I want to be able to give you more details and more um, I want to be able to talk through it and show you guys how to create them so, if you want, you can go watch my previous video, but otherwise this is a new one. So, what I have here is my cutters, and then I have this stick. You pick up the stick uh, maybe in the garden section or at the dollar store or Home Depot. And what does it look like? It looks like the, this here. But this one here has my um, glue gun leftovers from my UT. I pour U, um, glue gun sticks into my UT, but that's a whole nother video, but just to explain to you guys, just in case you know, guys are wondering what this is. It's my glue gun melt leftovers, because um, I created these pins, <clears throat> and I use them in my jewelry. So it's a head pin, and I dip my head pin into my um, heating pot to heat up UT. Let me show you the, the heating pot since I do have it close by because my kids were messing with it. Here we go. I'll oh, see, I have some UT in there. But, anyways, I'll melt glue gun, glue sticks, and I'll add color or I'll add some glitter and I'll dip these head pins and I'll trim the end sometimes. I'll dip them in and then just uh, move them around and I end up with this cool little head pin with this um, goopy little bead on the end. Anyways, that's another video. And I also have florist wire. I happen to find florist wire at the dollar store. They mainly have green, but I found this really pretty pale pink and that's what I'm going to be using. It's a 26 gauge. I get 270 feet for a dollar. Can't go wrong with that. And then this also you can find in the florist section um, here in downtown Los Angeles in the fashion district. So we're going to utilize this. It's really, really thin. So here we go. Just keep a close eye, keep watching, and let me show you how to make them. And you can use a pencil, 
You don't have to have the stick. Use your a pencil. Use anything you have to form the flowers. So we're going to make five petals and grab your wire, your 26 gauge wire, and you're going to hold, and that is considered one petal. Push this top wire down towards your desk or the floor. Okay, that's considered one. You see that? And around two, and around three, and around four, and around five. Okay, so then you bring them together. You kind of start squeezing them together. And start coming towards the end as much or as close as possible to the end of whatever you're using to form your petals. And then we're going to twist. So down here I'm pinching it. And the reason I'm pinching it is because we're going to twist. Twist whichever way you're comfortable twisting. So remember your first your wire that you first started with is down there facing down and when you're done with your fifth spin that's going to be facing down. I work off of the spool. You don't have to. You can cut a piece off and work that way but I like working off of the spool. And now I'm pinching in kind of an X form down there and pinch and twist. Pinch, keep holding and twist and twist. Whatever makes you comfortable uh, how much twisting you'd like to do. And go ahead, you see that leftover? Trim that off because that can poke you later. And now what I'm going to do is just remove the petals, the flower form, off of my stick. So you just wiggle it around. And this is what you end up with. Okay, kind of crooked. Yours might not be. Mine is. I'm not going to mess with it and make it uncrooked yet. Because what we need to do now with this other wire that I showed you guys is run it through so that the petals stay in form so that they don't lose their form. So I'm going to again work off of the, um, I just said it, I'm just going to work straight off of the spool, I'm not going to trim anything. So pay attention, we're going to get this wire, this thin one, and we're going to run it through all of the petals. So see, let's go, we're out, and we're running it in, let me show you again, we're running it through all the petal forms, okay? so running it through. However you're comfortable, bring it down towards the other wire that's right here. That's the stem. See my, how I bent that? And you, you, if you're working off your spool, you know, you got your other end. So squeeze tight here on your stem. And now we're just going to go around the bottom of all of those petals and pull. Sounds like an exercise um, video. And pull. <laughs> okay, so go around again and pull. And around again and pull. Now I'm having fun. Okay, so that's going to keep your petals from getting all disturbed and losing their form. And now I'm cutting off. Okay. I personally keep the leftover wire on here because when I create jewelry or if I add this to one of my jewel journals, just in case I need this later, you know, it's there. I don't have to add no more wire. So I'm going to keep that there, but what we are going to cut is the wire f the flower form, the stem part off of the spool now. Give yourself a, some slack. You see how much slack? Maybe uh, half your finger slack because again you never know what you're going to use this flower form for. You could put it on a card. Um, let me show you because I do have another video on what I have done 
Oh, hang on a second. Okay. Um, I have a video of two necklaces, I think, of what I've used these flowers for. One is called Ringing in the Spring, and you can go look at that tutorial. That was inspired by Tutu Amy. You can go check Tutu Amy. She uses different flowers, not these flowers, but I was inspired by her. And then there's another one. Just go look through my videos and you'll see. But I'll, I can show you right now. Now I'm going to put this aside for a second. And I'm going to show you all the flowers that I've created. Now that's a lot of flowers. Yeah. Let me bring one up so that you can see what you're going to end up with. Isn't that just pretty? It's got a lot of glow. It is nail polish. I have coated them with, after they were nice and dry, I have coated them with jewelry pendant gel. Um, it seals and protects embellishments, jewelry pendants, charms, and bottle caps. And it's by Aileen's. Um, it's four full ounces. You could pick this up with a coupon at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Maybe Walmart has it. But um, it's best that you use a coupon, but that's your choice. And I did coat it, and they are nice and thick. It sounds like glass when you hit against them. Let's see if you guys can hear that. They're not going nowhere. They're not cracking. They're not melting. They don't smell. And I have a ton of them here. I even made leaves. If you guys want to learn how to make leaves... I'll show you that right now too. Okay, let me show you what I've created with these flowers. Let me reach up over here. This video that I did is called, now that I remember, something thimble. Um, flower pot thimble. I'm something thimble, I'm not too sure. But take a look. Those are the flowers I'm teaching you guys how to make. This is a thimble and some embellishments. There's a video on this if you guys want to see it. I just wanted to show you what is the possi what some of the possibilities are. So let me put that aside and let's continue. So now I have nail polish. This happens to be a dollar store clean color nail look here it's just a nail polish uh, sorry for the blur the thicker your nail polish is inside basically the older the better the thinner the harder it is to work with but I have gotten used to after all those flowers I made I have gotten used to your working with basically any nail polish thin or thick so you can get really good at it okay but I'm going to put that right here. I'm going to show you guys how to open the flower. So I like to open two to one side, two petals to one side, and three petals to the other side. Sorry if I'm shaky. So Definitely you need that middle wire that we ran through to keep the petals stable. And now, um, here we're going to consider this the top and this the bottom. I'm going to grab the bottom petal and hold on to that one. And I'm going to grab the top petal and hold on to that one and just spread them apart. There you go. I'm just going to grab a tool to straighten out the stem. Okay, so back to where we were. So now we have the bottom petals still there. I'm going to grab the bottom, weigh the bottom, the last petal on the bottom, hold on to that, and just pull apart. And then the next petal, and just pull apart. Remember, we're creating a flower. In nature, no flower is perfect. 
So you just mess with it, whatever makes you happy. You can even pinch the ends and make them more pointy. And before I move on, I'm going to show you how to make the leaves. So I forgot that I even did the leaves. And I didn't think I was going to put that in the video, but now that I've seen the leaves, let me show you how to do the leaves. It's simple. Same procedure. I work off the spool. Um, I should probably grab a pencil just to show you that you can use a pencil. Excuse me. So, you kind of hold it like this. You see, let me bring my hand up. Kind of like a motorcycle gear. Bring it up. Put that wire down. Put your finger on top. Get that top wire, bring it down. And we're going to work that way. So, the wire that we're working off of the spool that's facing you we're going that way okay so that's one and two and again bring them together bring them to the bottom of whatever you're working with that's forming the petals and again I'm pinching down there and we're just going to twist you see and I'm gonna cut this off because like I said, I have poked myself with that before. And you can straighten out your stem. Bring it off of your pencil. And again, you're going to need to stabilize the leaves. Because these are leaves, the other ones were petals. And this is how we're stabilizing them so they don't lose their form. Again, we're going to run it through and bring it down. I'm working off the spool and I'm going to twist it underneath. You see that? And then give it a tug. I'm going to cut that off. Okay. And now I'm going to cut my stem off of the spool. And since they're leaves, oh again, we're going to open this up. One on each side. There we go in their leaves so I'm going to give them a form of leaves so I'm just squeezing you see now we got some leaves squeeze as much as you like even use your nail to give it a, an indentation there okay and I'm gonna go get green nail polish I'll be right back Okay, I'm back. Sorry for that. I didn't realize that I was going to do whoops, a tutorial on the leaves. So these are the two greens that I found. I'll put that aside. I don't know if this green's any good. Anyways, so back to the flower. This is how I kill my nails, look. Ha ha. Here's the flower again. And here's my nail polish. And here we go. Let me just take this hair off. Oh, it's gonna drip. Okay. So just just watch. This is doable. That you, we can do this. I've done it. You've, you've seen all the ones I've done. And there's one. And it, it's not surprising if 
it comes apart in the middle, you just go over it again. You see like that one? You can sometimes go under and catch and go from side to side. You just kind of wiggle it in there. I just want to say one thing to you guys. I enjoy inspiring you guys and teaching you new techniques. Sometimes I'm just here on YouTube creating videos to share what I've come up with and sometimes I'm teaching you guys uh, my techniques. All I ask is that if you attempt this and you make a video, please, um, so I know I'm not the original, but if you learned off of my video, please just mention my name, mention my YouTube channel, give me some kind of credit. I would really highly, highly appreciate that. I really do. And there we go. Sometimes you have to rock it back and forth. And sometimes you don't. But uh, you understand that I've made over three, four hundred of these. So I've gotten pretty good at it. You can hear my dogs scratching at the door. And sometimes when you go over what you've already done, what you have already done, um, it creates a gap, but that's okay. Just work with it. And sometimes you get bubbles, you might want to take them out. I don't mind my bubbles. And there you go. That's a beautiful flower. It's going to hold the nail polish smell for maybe a week. What you can do is add some essential oils into your box after they're dried into a box with a lid. Put them in there with some essential oils on a cotton ball. Make sure your flowers are dry though. I need to grab something to stick this in. Some kind of foam. I know I have a piece of foam. Where are you, foam? There you are. So I'm just going to stick it in my piece of foam and let it dry. It'll take about 24 hours to dry, even, maybe less, but just to be sure. 24 hours is good. But like I was saying, get a box with a lid, get some essential oils. Put it onto a piece of cotton fabric, the essential oil, and close that lid up. The smell goes away. My flowers smell like vanilla. Anyways, let me put that aside. Make sure that whatever foam you're going to use, you don't mind the nail polish dripping. Sometimes some of them drip. I just want to show you guys another thing you can use. I got this at the dollar store. It's some kind of florist. Um, I don't know, I'm not going to get stuck trying the word. Some kind of florist, or maybe it says it here. Floral arrangement wreath. There you go. And you see, there's nail polish drippings. I didn't take the plastic off. And you can just stab your flower in there and bunch of them and set them aside and let them dry. So now let's do the leaves. Oh, that's no good. That's way too thick. You see that, guys? That's trash. Okay, I have this other color here. See how it didn't grab? But it, gra it grabbed the second time around. Okay. 
And this nail polish was from Hot Topic. It's pretty cool. Let me go shove this over here in the wreath. See that? So just in case you're interested, it's Black Heart Beauty nail polish from Hot Topic. It was five bucks, but they have specials all the time where you buy one get one free. And the color is mint. It's just mint. You want to see that? All right. Um, I hope I was clear in my directions, and I hope that you guys make them. I do have them for sale. They are 85 cents each. And also my offer is still there if you guys want to do a trade. I'm open to trading. Um, just make sure whatever we trade, you know, let me know what you'd like to trade for a few flowers. And that keeps us inspired. I can inspire you to make some. Or you just want to purchase some. 85 cents each. Remember, give it a go though. Give it a try. And if it just doesn't work out for you or you're in a hurry, don't have the time to make them, private message me and let me know that you're interested in doing a trade or you just want to purchase them. Um, I have a PayPal account and I don't have my address or PO box or anything like that up on my YouTube. I'll give that to you if you message me or you can email me at secret s e c r e t soto s o t o at yahoo.com okay so thanks guys and like i said hope i inspire you guys bye